Okay, as you can see, we're back to the digital blackboard for a couple of problems. We're working on the Scranton integration. This was college problem number seven. I'm integrating from zero to nine of the ninth root of x squared times the square root of x to the fifth dx. Okay, the useful thing is we're multiplying in here. We're not adding, and I think that's going to make it work out pretty nice. Now, what I could do is I could take this x squared and just bring it into the radical, and so we could write that. We could bring it into the radical as x to the fourth. So multiplying x to the fourth times x to the fifth, this is actually going to become the square root of x to the ninth. But what I actually want to do is write the square root as a half power. So I'm going to write it as x to the nine halves. So when I rewrite my integral, we'll keep our bounds. Now the ninth power on the outside, what I'm going to do is wrap this whole thing. Instead of writing it as the ninth root, I want to write it as one over nine. Because what I'm really trying to do is use power rule. And so we have our simplified piece here, x to the 9 halves. So let me write that in here. So this is going to be x to the 9 halves dx. And then from here, by exponent properties, I can just multiply this exponent in. So multiplying 1 9th times 9 over 2, the 9s are going to cancel. And we're going to end up just integrating the square root of x. Because with these 9s cancel, we just have a half power. But now I can just integrate this thing, and I think just to make it clear, I'll put this back. Instead of writing a square, I'll write it as a one-half power dx. And so now we can use the power rule. So integrating this, we're going to have x to the three-halves, and then take the reciprocal. So we're going to have two-thirds x to the three-halves, just evaluated from zero to nine. Now, of course, when we plug in zero, that's just going to be zero, so we won't worry about that. But we need to evaluate nine. So looking at nine to the three-halves, first we can take the square, which is three, and then take it to the third power. So 3 cubed is going to be 27, and we're going to have, and this is going to be multiplied by 2 times 3, but 27 divided by 3 is just 9. So multiplying this out, we get our final solution, just 18. That's it. Quick and easy problem. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a great day.